So today we're going to be doing Mary Shaw from Dead Silence and first we're going to start off with a foundation that is lighter than your natural skin tone and I'm just using a liquid foundation I'm just going to place that all over my face Then once that's done, I'm taking Ben Nye's concealer wheel and I'm going to be using the orange base concealer and the yellow base concealer. First with the orange, I'm just going to wipe that backwards and forwards through my brow and then use a brow comb to just comb through the concealer. And then I'm going to pat the yellow concealer over the top. Now this is just to lighten up your eyebrows. If you have darker eyebrows like I do, this isn't to completely block them out. And then I'm going to take the Benai Loose Powder in the color Fair. And just with a big fluffy brush, we're just going to put that all over our face, including our eyebrows, just to set everything in. And then I'm going to take a piece of tissue paper, and then I'm going to break it into in half, so it's one ply. And then I'm going to start ripping it into random little pieces. And then I'm going to take some liquid latex and then I'm going to apply that to my face with a Q-tip. We're going to have two wounds on the side of our face, chin and forehead, just like Mary Shaw does have. And this latex and tissue method is going to replicate the dead skin that is torn off Mary Shaw's face. So once you put down the latex, you're going to press the tissue in on top. Make sure you get it bunched up and crinkly so it creates more of a skin effect. And then we're going to go back over the tissue with a layer of latex and then we're gonna wait for that to dry the best way to tell when the latex is dry is when it goes from white to clear and once the latex is dry we can begin to rip holes and slashes through it so you can either use something mildly sharp or your nails just to pull through it and this is just going to create more of a realistic look. And then you can also put a third layer of latex on top and wait for that to dry. And then on a angled fluffy brush, we're going to take the color beige pink from La Femme. And we're just going to start contouring our face to make it look thin and ghastly. So I'm just going to contour my cheeks, the corners of my forehead, also better known as your temples. And then I'm taking a medium sized fluffy blending brush and that same beige pink color. And I'm just going to dramatically contour the sides of my nose and up above my eyebrows and also on the end V of my nose. Then we're going to take a detailed brush and the color bronze and we're going to start by creating a shadowing to make it appear that our cheeks are lower sunken in on our face. And then we're also going to create the ventriloquist puppet lines on the corners of our mouth. Now all this brown is just going to be a bottom layer of shading. There is going to be a lot more colors and shading that goes on top of this. And then we're going to take a flat brush that's very firm and using that bronze again we're just going to create all the wrinkles on the forehead, above the nose, and around the eyebrows. If you wanted to, you could also add extra wrinkles underneath the eyes. And then we're just going to take the black and we're just going to create these sort of cracked, rotten lines that are all over Mary's face. It's best when doing things like certain makeups like this that you have a reference picture right next to you so you can get all the lines and detailings exactly the same as the character has which is exactly what I'm doing here so I'm just following all the lines and cracks on her face and then taking that same medium fluffy blending brush and the same black we're just gonna create basically like panda eyes so we're just going to put it over our lids and then blend in a circular motion all throughout our socket.
and then we're gonna add just a hint of navy blue on the brush and just do that through the crease of our eyes with that navy blue still on the brush we're gonna lightly brush that over our lips to change the pink color into a more sickening purple color and then we're gonna put a dab of the black back onto the brush and further define underneath our bottom lip and to create a sort of creepy smile Next we're going to take a firm angled blending brush and we're going to use the beige pink again and we're going to press this into the latex and tissue. So this is going to blend it more into the color of our skin tone and the reason you're going to use a firm blending brush is so that you push the pigment into the actual latex itself rather than just brushing it all over the top. And then we're going to take that concealer wheel again from Ben Nye and then using a concealer brush just fill the insides of the wounds we have created. And this is just going to help the pigment stick better and kind of clump together and create a very ghastly look. And then we're just going to take a mixture ranging between the beige pink bronze and peach and we're just gonna shade in the wounds making the insides a lot darker and more deathly looking and then we're going to take the color coral on a flat eyeshadow brush and press that into our waterline this is just going to give our eyes a very sunken red agitated effect and then I'm just taking some more of that lighter foundation we applied at the beginning of this video and just patting that on the temples of my foreheads above the shading of the cheeks just to create extra highlight to the face. And once you've done that, you're finished. Beware the stare of Mary Shaw. She had no children, only dolls. And if you see her in your dreams, make sure you never, ever scream.